An airplane needs to fly due north, but there is a wind blowing from the southwest at 60 kilometers per hour. The plane flies at an airspeed of 500 kilometers per hour, which should be the plane speed in still air. To end up due north, the pilot will need to fly how many degrees west of north? There are a couple ways to solve this problem. In this video, we'll show how to use trigonometry, and more specifically, the law of sines to solve this problem. But there is another video that solves this exact problem using the component form of vectors. To begin, the plane wants to fly due north, so to represent this, we could use this green vector here pointing due north. So let's call this green vector vector r for the resultant vector. Next, there's a wind blowing from the southwest at 60 kilometers per hour. So the wind is blowing from the southwest, it's actually blowing in the direction of northeast, or this direction here. So to sketch a vector to represent the wind, we could use this red vector here that points in the direction of northeast, again because the wind is blowing out of the southwest. So we can call this vector w, but because the wind is blowing at 60 kilometers per hour, the magnitude or length of this vector would be 60. And now because the wind is going to be blowing the plane in the direction of northeast, it's going to have to head west of north, or in the direction of this blue vector here. So let's call this blue vector vector p. And because the plane flies at 500 kilometers per hour, in still air, the magnitude of vector p is equal to 500. So now geometrically, if we add vector p and vector w, we want the resultant vector to be this green vector. To add vectors p and w geometrically, we take the initial point of vector w and place it at the terminal point of vector p as we see here. So this red vector is also vector w, which has a magnitude of 60. Notice how these three vectors form an obtuse triangle. There's one more key piece of information to determine, and that's the angle here between vector w and vector r. If the wind is blowing in the direction of northeast, and we have another vector pointing due north, the angle between these two vectors would be 45 degrees, which means this angle here in the triangle is 45 degrees. And now our goal here is to determine the number of degrees the plane must fly west of north, which would be this small acute angle here in this triangle, which we'll call angle alpha. Again, angle alpha is this angle here, which would be the number of degrees the plane must fly west of due north. Now analyzing the triangle, we can use the law of sines to determine angle alpha. We should recognize this because notice how we know this angle measures 45 degrees, and we also know the length of the opposite side. So applying the law of sines, we can say the sine of 45 degrees divided by the length of the opposite side, which would be 500, must equal the sine of angle alpha divided by the length of the opposite side, which is 60. Now we'll cross multiply, solve for sine alpha, then determine alpha. So sine alpha times 500 must equal 60 times sine 45. So again, 500 sine alpha must equal 60 sine 45 degrees, divide both sides by 500. So we have sine alpha equals this quotient here, 60 sine 45 degrees divided by 500. So now to solve this for alpha, we would take the inverse sine or arc sine of both sides of the equation, which would give us alpha equals arc sine or inverse sine of this quotient, 60 sine 45 degrees divided by 500. And now we'll grow the calculator to approximate alpha. We first want to verify that we are in degree mode, so we'll press the mode key, 
Notice how degree is highlighted. Go back to the home screen, press second sine for inverse sine or arc sine, and then we have 60 sine 45 degrees divided by 500. Close parenthesis, enter. So alpha is approximately 4.8676 degrees. Which again is this small acute angle formed by the resultant vector and vector p. Which is the number of degrees the plane must fly west of north in order to fly due north. I hope you found this helpful.